Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi Detective Paul, we're out again for you. Good morning guys, we're back out again for you. Uh, what a day. Bit of cloud, but warm. Jim, the man himself, the man in the iron mask, the man of the hour. Anyway guys, we're out again today for you. We've got a lovely, lovely rolled field. We're somewhere in the middle of nowhere, but we've got four or five fields to choose from. And uh, who knows, James? Who, who knows, knows? Who knows, yep, don't we? So, uh, on that note, we'll catch you on the first, first one. Hi guys, got my first target. Well, first proper target anyway. So Neil, so let's do it together. There we go. And that looks like a George. Yeah, it certainly is a George. Half penny. See can I get a date for you? Oh face faint. Uh I'm not too sure. Uh I'll clean it up and let you know. Alright guys, thanks. Right guys, got another target. There we go. Uh Lewis. Uh might be a knife. Or for handle or something like that. I think it's pewter to be honest. Shrapnel. It's not very heavy. And Paul got shrapnel. Right, guys, right, catch on the next one. Well guys and girls, good morning. Uh first found. And it's come out of there. And I put it down somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's an old one, I think. A little bottle. I like bottles. Buckle in the pot. Buckle. On to the next. Well, guys, it's took me a while. Uh, not found much, really. Bomb shrapnel and stuff. Found that bottle, a couple of pieces of bottle. Didn't really film them, but anyway, I've found a watch winder, guys. What about that? How cool is that? I'll give it a clean see the date on it. Well, guys, there's definitely someone on it, but I'll give it a clean when I get back to the car. Watch winder in the park. On to the next. Hi boys and girls, got another target. Got a target, what? About two inches. And there we go. It's a toasty. It's a blank one. Cool. Right, catch on next. Right boys and girls, got another target. It's, it was in there, popped it out, and there we go. Uh, I think it might be a George, it's very worn. Uh, yeah. Let's get a wipe. Yeah, just about to say a bust. But I'm not too sure what it is. I'll uh, try to get under the microscope and let you know what it is. Well, guys, the next signal. That could be a Roman pin, that. Any ideas? Post below. On to the next. Virtually on the surface. Can you see it? It's definitely some sort of weight. Hole in the top there. And it might have a few markings on. Right, boys and girls. No target. And there we go. I believe that might be a watch winder. Uh, it needs a good cleaning, but I'll do that when I get home. There might be some detail on it. Oh yeah, cool. Might catch on that. 
All right, boys and girls, I've got a friend over the target. And by the look for it, it's another coin. Yeah, down here is another coin. Uh, I think that's a bun head. Yeah, see the bun at the back? Uh, probably won't be able to get a date, guys. It's very worn on the back. Oh yeah, cool. Right, catch on next. We'll see you walking in. Well guys, the chub oil has done it. I'm in. What about that guys? I've not even unpicked it yet. Right, yeah, the only... You ready guys? <laughs> hammered, my first full hammered. You know what this means, guys? Where's the? Uh, I've got one. Let me just give Jim camera. Where's our up, Paul? Oh yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's very nice, that mate. It's the very first one. By the looks of it, it looks like a Lizzie. The first full hammered. So, well done mate. Ready James? Yeah, go on. Well, Jim, I know what it feels like now. <laughs> Good feeling, innit? Oh, yeah. Look at that. <sighs> We're going to see 15. Yep. So it's 15. Can't make out the rest. But it's definitely 15. 15, 60. Yeah, 15, 60 somewhere. Well done, mate. <laughs> Hammered, my first full hammered coin. Da, 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 da. Ah, I've done it. So guys, got no target. There you go. A little tiny button. Right, catch on next. Right, boys and girls, we have another target. I have cleaned it, and it's a Roman. Oops. Uh, you see the head there, uh, which I will put it under the microscope and get a better picture for you. But yeah, that's, it. that's definitely Roman. Cool. Alright boys and girls, got no target. There we go. It's an old uh, drawer handle. I thought it was a brooch at first, seen that bit. Oh yeah, an old drawer handle. Right, catch on next. Well guys, it's not a hammered. It's a bird ring. Awesome. See if we can get a date off it after. On to the next. Well guys, I've found this. Cracking signal. If we know, post below. Right, guys, here's an old button. That's a four holer. Right, catch on that. Hi, guys, got a target. Uh, not had one for a while. Uh, just a button. Still got the shank on the back. Just a button. Alright, catch on next. You know what it is, guys? MooTube! MooTube! On to the next. Well, guys, it's 
took a while for my next signal. Came from down there. And it's just the Coyote. It's a toaster. On to the next. Hi guys, got no target. Oh, here we go. Some kind of, uh, yeah, I haven't got a clue what that is. It's probably off a horse or something. Uh, if anyone knows, please leave a comment below. Alright, catch you on next. Hi right, guys, got no target. And here we go. It's uh, some kind of hook loopy thing. This feels it's got so much on it. Absolutely amazing feel. Right, catch on the next one. Right, boys and girls, I have this target. Uh, I've not got a clue what it is. I, when I first dug it out, I thought it was a bloody bronze age, actually said X Ed. But if anyone knows, please leave a comment below. Because I haven't got a clue. Alright, catch on the next one. Well, guys. Silver in the hole, and it's smooth, but it's a bullet, and it is slick. Silver in the hole. Silver. On to the next. Well guys, it's been a bit of a tam. Got it from down there. It's a bag seal. Definitely a bag seal. On to the next. Tell you what guys, there's lots of signals and it ain't crap. It's lead, bits of brass, bits of bronze, bits of coins, bits of Roman, hammers. <sighs> Unbelievable. So yeah, just keep plodding on. Dig it all, as I say. Absolutely dig it all. On to the next. Oh well, boys and girls, I've got enough target. And it's a coin. Uh, don't know what it is. Uh, now I've got a clue, it's blank. Oh well, catch on next one. Well boys and girls, it's like you can see it there. There's something. Not got a clue. I haven't got a clue what that is. Pretty cool though. Right, catch on next. Hi right, guys, got a target. And it's just there, uh, right in the cloud, bump of soil. Uh, uh, I've got a clue. It's got a writing on it. Oh. Oh, I can't tell what it is. Uh. Right guys, got no target. There we go. I haven't got a clue what that is. Uh. It's something. Uh, I've got no spray on until the power comes over. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Too sure what it is. There's definitely something. Alright, guys, uh, I'll clean it up and take a picture and put it at the end. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, guys, catch on this one. Well, guys, it's just on the surface somewhere. 
Yeah, man. It was. Oh. What that do? It's a coin. Let me get a clean, see if I can get anything off it. I think, my friends, it's a George II. But I just can't make it out. On to the next. Well, boys and girls, it's been a while. And I've got a coin. I think it might be a Lizzie on Edward. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's a George. Uh, shit, Penny. Nineteen fourteen, I think it is, or nineteen forty four. It's one or the other. Half ship penny. Right guys, catch you on the next one. Right guys, uh got another target. It's about four inches down. And it's this big plate and it's got writing all over it. Uh, I'm not too sure what it is. I will give it a clean later on when I get home. And I'll take a picture. That's pretty cool that. Yeah, so absolutely this field. This field guys. God. Absolutely amazing this field. Hell of a lot of finds. And some really nice finds. So we keep on plodding along and I catch you on the next one. Well guys, it's a can you guess what it is, moment? Any ideas? Definitely bros. Well then, it's a chimney off a mouse house. Methinks. On to the next. Well guys, it's another, can you guess what I've got? Came from down there. <laughs> if anybody knows, post below. What a knob. Cool. On to the next, knob lit. Well guys. Uh, what about this? Definitely 18 down there. Eh? There then. How cool is that? On to the last. Right guys, what a day we have had. Uh, absolutely brilliant field we've just been on. Uh, that's a probably a wrong plum weight or something like that. From that black, I will give it a wash when I get home and take a picture. Got absolutely loads of stuff. Absolutely loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, six coins. This here, that says Lewis is it? Uh, some kind of loop thing. Uh, I think that might be a brooch or something like that. Uh, some kind of latch of whatever. Colour buttons. Uh, this here. Not got a clue what that is. Right, Paul finds. Well, where do we start? Uh, buttons. A few buttons. I think I've got a Roman coin somewhere. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I've got a Roman coin somewhere. Uh, yeah, colour buttons. A watch winder. 
uh, a little class uh, buckle kind of thing. Uh, not got a clue what that is. One, two uh, blank coins. This here, which you've just seen, uh, I will get Paul to give it a clean up and send me a nice picture of it. Uh, a little bullhead, which is cool. And I think the best find for today is this uh, little Lizzie Amid. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. So, right, guys. Come over here, Paul. Uh, absolutely brilliant day. What do you reckon? Top day. Well, uh, nice find. Lots of finds. You've done really well, Paul. Uh, to learn that machine. Uh, so, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So I'll be coming here sometime in, in the, the future. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So from Detective Jim and Detective Paul, we'll catch you on the next haul. Bye for now.